for the volume of spheres. Now, as we did in the video where uh, where I explained about the surface area of spheres, we are going to divide the sphere into very small, a uh, very small rec uh, not uh, squares, very small squares, and so. And what we are going to do is make those squares into pyramids. So like, let's think of this square over here. The square over here. And we are only going to look at this square's pyramid and the pyramid of that would be here's the square and here is the center of the sphere and the pyramid would be like something like that and something like that and the height of it would be the radius of the sphere and And the uh, and let's call each of these uh, uh, each of these squares B. And we are going to label it like the first square is B one, so the second square is B two, like that. So now one pyramid would be uh, a third of r multiplied by b basically like that and yeah b is uh, b is not a line it's a area so this works like that and uh, and so to get the full volume of the sphere we are going to ha we are going to have to uh, add uh, add all of the pyramids. So we are going to get a equation like this, like the uh, the thing would be a third of r. B1 plus the third of R B2 plus the third of R B3 the uh, plus the third of R B4 and blah blah blah. Let's just call it uh, the end of it the third of R B R B N. And now we are going to pull out all of the one over threes out to uh, out of this equation by doing this simplify uh, simplifying it r b one plus r b two plus blah 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 r b n and also we are going to pull out all the R's, uh, R's out too. So, third of R multiplied by B1, B2, B3 plus blah blah blah, BN. Uh, that ends a bit big, but, anyways. Uh, and so, what are these all combined? These are the surface area of a sphere. So, these all, uh, these, uh, these all added would be 4 pi r squared because it's the surface area of a sphere. So, the third of a r multiplied by 
4 pi r squared. This would be uh, uh, yes, 4 over 3 multiplied by pi r cubed because r multiplied by r squared. So it becomes it becomes this thing. So yeah, this simple reason is why it is uh, why this is this. This is how you get volumes of spheres. Now, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, that's all I would I wanted to talk to you about this video and. And also, I learned this from Khan Academy, and also this from Mathematics Online. And again, thank you for watching, and bye.